I have a few things that I need to talk about. I need to take out of my chest, okay? Uh, excuse my appearance. This is actually a towel, a turban towel uh, for your hair. So my hair is drying over there. We'll see how it works. I recently purchased this from TJ Maxx. So I'm giving it a try to see how it works. If this look offends you or if this look is not for, t for your liking, go ahead and ex exit. I will not take it personally. Um, by the way, this video is not going to be necessarily pleasant video. It's not going to be... If you're here from one of those videos where it's just like really quiet, nice, e uh, drama-free um, video, this is not going to be it. This today, I have a few, few battles <laughs> that I need to talk about. First of all, who the fuck invented statistics if you know it send in my way because i have a few words with them okay so let's play with makeup and we're going to talk about a few problems that i have in my life at the moment and that i'm a little bit annoyed about and i just need to talk with somebody about it so here we are today is going to be one of those days when i'm just going to go crazy a little bit Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply uh, my primer. This is the Ordinary High Adherence. As you can see, I can barely squeeze anything from this. Maybe that, that was the last drop. That could have been the last drop right now. So I'm good because that's going to go again in my empties, which is great. Another product that I used up, I have a mission this year. I need to use up a lot of the makeup items that I have in my collection and I should stop buying a lot of the things which brings me to one of the things that I want to talk about today. There's so many YouTubers out there that just promote consumerism and it's just pissing me off. Okay, it's annoying the heck out of me. Like if you have holes every goddamn week where you have like 10 items, 12 items, every fucking week. What the hell? Like, how is, when I know your, your makeup collection is humongous, what the fuck are you doing with that much? Like, what is going on? And of course, every time they show their holes, it's like, uh, oh, here's my uh, discount code. Here's uh, my affiliate link. Go ahead and buy and buy and buy. Or you have those people that are telling you, oh, if you don't have this product, I don't know what the fuck you're doing with your life. I don't understand what is wrong with you. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm just living my goddamn life. That's what I'm fucking doing. I don't have the money. I'm not fucking rich to buy all the shit that you're recommending me. Like, okay, that pisses the fuck off of me, okay? So stop with the fucking consumerism. I pissed off of all the fucking uh, brands that are just throwing shit on our faces every goddamn week. Like, ColourPop releases 10, 10 products a fucking week. Uh, Beige Cosmetics, the same fucking bullshit. Nabla is throwing shit in our face every goddamn uh, two to three weeks. Like, come on. Seriously, stop. I just want a few fucking releases and something that is actually good. Let's not talk about Jacqueline here. We're gonna go there too, because I have like so much to say today. I have so much to say. But first of all, yeah, who invented statistics? Because let me tell you, I am taking that class right now and it is a bitch. A bitch to understand, a bitch to fucking put it together in my brain, okay? All right, next one here, we're going to go for foundation with Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid. I don't know if I'm going to put this video up. Maybe I will because I'm so pissed off. I'm just so annoyed with the world. And also, I'm annoyed because I uh, went on a diet. I'm, I'm going on a diet right now. This is day two, okay? So this is day two. And the fucking food has no damn taste. There's, well, I, it does have taste. It tastes like cardboard, okay? That's how it tastes right now. It tastes like fucking cardboard. Oh, 
Why is it good food or healthy food tasting like cardboard? I don't understand. And they're still asking us, why are you so fat? Why is this generation so Because your fucking food has no goddamn taste, okay? Has none. Anyway, let me let me do a little bit of this foundation. This is one of the foundations that I had in my collection for a, a while now. And I don't have that much left in it. And I hope I'm going to finish it up real soon because it's time to uh, take it out of my collection. So hopefully it's going to go out soon. So yeah, who the fuck? Let me blend this foundation first because I feel like I'm just gonna <laughs> be screaming and yelling but honestly it's just it's getting to that point where it's like I'm trying to eat fucking healthy but nothing nothing has any taste nothing has any it's not good I mean I guess it's gonna be a transition but Oh, this tasteless food. Anyway, so that's why one of the reasons why I'm cranky. Uh, and I do have some other things that I need to talk about. Like, for example, Dominique Cosmetics, right? Dominique Cosmetics, she recently um, came out with, which I'm like, seriously, the way she was marketing this thing before she put it out there that is actually a palette, she was marketing like it would be a foundation that's how, what i thought every time she would put a picture up i thought oh this is gonna be probably a freaking foundation that's gonna be interesting now i'm probably gonna purchase this and see how it is you know so she released that freaking palette right i was a little bit confused at the time when i was like what the fuck i thought it was like a, a an amazing foundation i guess not so it's this palette that apparently you can use it for everything on your face, right? Uh, a bunch of powders thrown in there that you could use on your face. Okay, this foundation, really? Where's the coverage, my friend? What the fuck? Okay, gotta put more of this foundation because there's no fucking coverage on it. Um, so I'm just gonna add more. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, this is almost gone. Yeah. Are you gonna have more in you or not? Is this is it? This is the last the last drop. Oh, you found a little bit more in there. Okay, good. So I'm gonna add this more because yeah, has no coverage. I forgot this one is like light coverage or buildable or whatever. Um so anyway, she released her thing. She released it, and I looked at it. I was like, hmm, because Dominic Cosmetics is one of those brands that I said I want to try it this year, and I want to see how it is, right? So I was like intrigued. Should I just purchase this and see how it is? Um, should I like just just kind of for out of curiosity, see if it's working for everything she's saying? I don't know. I was like, I was. I was thinking maybe I should do it, maybe I shouldn't do it. I didn't purchase it on the day of her release. So I thought about it for about a week. And I decided finally to just go ahead and grab it and just kind of see how it is. So I purchased it. And uh, of course, they give you all this stupid email that everybody does it right now because of COVID. We can't send you your we can't send it in a t fashionly uh, timeline or whatever fucking say they whatever the fuck they say so i knew it's gonna take a while to ship right so it took like i don't know four or five days to ship it shipped it got uh i got the tracking number all good right i looked on it and on tuesday on tuesday it says oh you should uh Receive no on Monday. I looked on I looked at it on Monday on the tracking number and it says you should receive 
your uh, package by Wednesday. I've sent that package to go to my PO box, which is with USPS. USPS are the people that are, are doing this delivery and it got to Seattle, Washington on Tuesday. I was like, oh, cool. So definitely I'm gonna get this on Wednesday. On Wednesday, I looked to see where is that because my husband was coming home from work and I just wanted him to go to the P.O. box and get that package, right? To stop at the P.O. box. Well, little do I know, somebody, I don't know who, but somebody in this fucking industry that I'm trying to get in with my schooling, fucked it up and sent my package to goddamn Denver, Colorado. So this package that was 20 minutes away from the P.O. box that was supposed to be delivered at, instead was delivered to the, uh, it was sent to Denver, Colorado. I, my face fucking dropped. I was like, who and what and what the fuck is going on right now? And I called my husband. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Look what is happening. And he's like, yeah, probably what happened. Because my husband did work into, um, work for FedEx, I think. Um, like, sorting this fucking packaging is whatever. So he was like, yeah, probably what happened, somebody, uh, threw that in the wrong pile and uh in the pile that went to denver and i'm like are you fucking kidding me how stupid can you be that you don't see this is from washington goddamn state this is your goddamn p.o box it's i have this p.o box would you come for me like how is that so freaking hard to see and look at right so right now my uh package is chilling in a van coming back from goddamn fucking denver colorado back to seattle and from there we'll see where the fuck is gonna go next hopefully to my p.o box i have no no clue but i do hope so you know i do hope so i don't know if i said but i went in with neutrogena for my uh Concealer. Okay, let's go in with this from Ofra. This is the banana powder from Ofra. And I'm just going to set my under eyes with it. So that one, are you serious? Are you serious right now? I, what in the freaking world? So now I am waiting my ass. I'm waiting for that package to get here for fucking forever. Wait, I didn't blend it enough over here. So I'm waiting my ass for fucking forever for that package. Oh, next, let's talk about ColourPop. So I ordered something from ColourPop. Uh, they recently came out with that uh, Make It Black collection um where they uh the profit on 100 percent of the profit they go to um what is it they go to black owned brands to sustain to support them in this industry right so i was like okay i want to be part of that plus i really love that eyeshadow palette that they came out with the five pan one so I ordered that the minute they, they released it, I ordered it right then and there. All right. So that happened, right? So I'm like looking at the days past. One day, two, three, four, five days. I'm like, what the hell? There's no shipping. There's no shipping yet. There's nobody shipped my fucking thing. And then I receive an email on the sixth day. I'm gonna go in, no, actually I'm gonna go in with this. This is the Soul Body from Colourpop. And I'm gonna carve my face a little bit with this one. So this is in dark. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit. 
it's gonna get in these areas. Anyway, so so I'm waiting, right? So on the sixth day, I finally receive a shipping confirmation and I get a tracking number, right? I get a tracking number. So I go on the tracking number to see, okay, where is it? Who's gonna be delivered by? That one I send it here to my to my home. Who's gonna be delivered by? What's gonna happen, right? And guess what? The tracking number doesn't fucking work. It says it's not. What is it? Not real. Well, whatever the fuck is this? It's not. It's not a good tracking number. Whatever is it, whatever it says. So I'm like, oh my fucking god! What is going on? Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I knew this industry has a lot of fucking problems, but not this fucking many. Like, seriously, what in the fucking world? This is one of the reasons, one of the fucking reasons why I hate ordering things online. I hate ordering things online, one, because I always get it really, really late. It doesn't matter if I'm sending to my PO box, which is in the goddamn middle of the city, or if I send it to my place, which is at the end of the goddamn city, which is all the way in the country, um, it does not matter. I never get these fucking packages in time. I always get them very, very late. It takes either two to three weeks to get any of these packages. And it's just so annoying. You know, it's so annoying. Because that package could be fucking delivered. Like, I've seen a package that was in Seattle for fucking five days until it got to my place. It's 20 fucking minutes away. It's it's maybe, come on, I'd say it's maybe 45 minutes away because you go in the country. But still, like for real. Anyway, so there we go. We bronzed. Now for uh, my powder, I'm going to go with this one, Juice Beauty, the organic solution. I'm playing with products that I usually don't go for in my collection right now to see which one is good, what's going on, you know, if I like it or not. Um, so I'm going to go with this one. I have mine in sand. It might be a little bit too colored, but uh, well, we'll see. So now you know why am I being really annoyed right now with everything that's happening. Like I really, really don't like ordering shit online. Honestly, I don't. There's a few things that I really want from Sephora and I really don't want it. I just don't want to order it online. I want to find time to go in one of those stores and purchase it. I can, right now actually, you can make your order on their app and you just go and uh, you pick it up in the store which is so much easier finally Sephora finally Ulta was doing this for a very fucking long time anyway so I'm glad they're doing that probably that's what I'm gonna do next because there's a few things that I do want to grab from them but I didn't grab them because because I just don't want to order it online I fucking don't want to do that Oh, another thing that annoyed me. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm all very annoyed. Just so you know, I'm very annoyed right now. Um, so I started this freaking diet, right? I've been going to the gym. I've been going to the gym uh, for about a month or so. I did, no, about two months. I did took a few weeks off uh, during the holidays because I didn't want to go during that time but after that <laughs> after that little break I went back to the gym right so I went back to the gym and I pushed myself really hard because I knew I gained some weight during the holidays and I wanted to remove all those <laughs> all those pounds <laughs> And that workout. I know, I know it's not possible, okay? I know. So I do I do myself this. I just I go and push myself really, really fucking hard. And while doing so, I pull the goddamn muscle. 
and I cried my ass off five freaking days day and night I could not sleep properly I could not do mostly any fucking thing this shoulder was so bad so fucking bad that I just wanted to kill somebody I was so pissed off it was like god damn it why this fucking body is so damaged like why is it so bad that it cannot take the, because I did push myself, but I did not push myself less than what I usually do. You know what I mean? It's just, this is, this is the problem. This is a problem. I'm annoyed. I'm getting old. I'm annoyed that the fucking thing, my brain, my, my brain doesn't work the same. My body doesn't work the same. And now, now I have to fucking eat that bullshit food that is not good or has no goddamn taste whatsoever i'm gonna do my brows with this uh benefit brow contour pro i had to stop to do my brows because i cannot talk while i'm doing my brows okay so brows are done okay uh what i was trying to talk about before i think i was trying to tell you why i am pissed off another another reason so yesterday yesterday um it was the day i decided right i'm gonna go and eat healthy and i'm gonna change my lifestyle i'm gonna make myself feel better look better whatever the fuck is gonna happen we'll see um so i went to the store to buy all the food that i need right so i'm thinking to myself best time to go to this to go to the grocery store is around the afternoon, like early afternoon, nobody's the fuck there, and I can buy my shit in peace without having to maneuver between the the aisles with, with, with tons of people around me, right? So, I wake myself up, I do some of my things, plus I had um, a class last night, so it's like, I'm, I'm just gonna... By the way, I'm going to put this chai tea, burst peas, lip, whatever the fuck it is, lip balm, uh, because my lips are getting a little bit dry. So I'm like, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. There's nobody going to be there. Mm -mm. Nobody's going to be there. Well, guess what? Everybody and their mother was there. Everybody, the whole fucking parking lot full. I'm like, what the fuck is going on in here? So for my uh, blush, I'm gonna go with this Makeup Institute palette because I never played with it. So I really want to try to see how this blushes are. I think I'm gonna go in maybe with this color right here. I like how that looks. There you go. This one right here. Um, I don't know, does he have a name? Nope, doesn't. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and just go on my cheeks like that. So yeah, I go in, everybody's there. <sighs> Fucking Helsinki's. So I'm trying to get my shit in peace. I'm trying to follow those errors on the fuck god and goddamn grocery store to make sure I keep my goddamn distance away. And of course, nobody nobody does that, but whatever. So I keep doing my things left and right. I'm trying to get the fuck out of there as fast as possible, right? And then I go to the cashier. There was a line, 20 fucking people in front of me. There were only two people that were doing the registers. I am like keep talking to myself in my brain without people, like without I didn't want people to look weird at me, but I was like, why the fuck is like so many people at this goddamn time? Like usually if I go at this time, nobody and their mother is here. I really like this blush actually. I'm going to add a little bit over here too. It's really pretty. I should play with this a little bit more. So I go... Go to the register. I'm looking. What the fuck is going on? I don't know. Anyway, so 
I end up leaving. I'm like, thank God. Of course, there were a bunch of people trying to get really close to you. All that annoyance. Bullshit happens. Whatever. So I leave. And then I go home. And I, I started scrolling through Facebook. And I found... I found out why these people were doing this, right? Um, apparently, we get we got a snowstorm coming in our way in uh, tonight. I already see the snow coming down out there, which it's, I don't think it's going to sit down because it's not cold enough. But apparently, we have a snowstorm coming in our way for that is going to be here for many days you know and everybody was freaked out the shit out of them freaked the shit out of them and they just went to buy all these fucking things from the store one thing that i did not need it was um was uh, uh, a toilet paper and i have not even went into that aisle to see if they had it anymore probably that disappeared already Fucking Helsinki. Oh, let me tell you. This thing is just so fucking insane to me. Like, these people act like we're never gonna get out of fucking houses. Because, besides the COVID, now we've got a storm coming in our way. So, this is, um, Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadow. I don't know how exactly you're, you're supposed to apply this, but I'm just gonna go in with my finger to just kind of tap it down a little bit. I need some mirror. So, yeah. And that, that's nothing, right? No problem. No problem. Uh, I understand why they're there, whatever. So I get home, I did my meals, I ate the fucking bullshit meal that had no taste. Let me tell you, have you ever has tasted cauliflower rice? Why the fuck is that recommended all the time? When it tastes like shit, like seriously, or me maybe better said, it doesn't taste like anything. It's like a mush. Blah, blah. It's so gross. It's so freaking gross. Ugh, ugh. I don't know. If you like it, man, tell me how the fuck you do it because I tried multiple ways to make it have a little bit of a taste last night. Nothing worked. I put, I put, uh, garlic on, nope, I put, um, ugh, what could I fucking smell, oh gosh, anyway, so I put, what was it, parmesan on, no, I put, uh, what else did the fuck I put, I don't even remember, uh, soy sauce, yeah, no, so I was like, I don't fucking know what else to put on this bullshit thing to make it taste good. Like, really, nothing. Nothing works. So, um, if it works for you, tell me how you do it. I don't like how this looks on my eyes. It's patchy. Um, I don't know if I just stay too much. I don't know what to do with it. Like, do I use a brush? Maybe I use a brush. Let me use this one. I'm going to add a little bit more. Because this I had it in my thing for a while. This one actually did a little bit better. But still has some areas where it's not, it's not that great. So yeah, I did not... I did not like that, right? Anyway, I go to sleep. And I wake up this morning. And guess what? This morning, my nose was all sniffling. I was sniffling in the morning. And I'm still feeling like shit. And I bet your goddamn ass that whatever I got, whatever I fucking got, it was from yesterday at the fucking goddamn grocery store. I, I better not have fucking COVID. I don't think I have COVID, but still, it's annoying. It's fucking annoying. 
and yeah the snow the I'm, I'm gonna show you probably I'm gonna show you how the snow looks like holy fucking hell sinkies I really don't want the snow because I wanted to be able to go to the gym every day and I'm probably I'm not gonna be able to do that with this fucking snowstorm coming in our way <sighs> where's time it find itself the worst time to come over the fucking worst time anyway so I'm gonna go with this side too uh, this side it's cold which one is this this is the pink champagne. So I'm going to go with this side that is the sparkly side. And I I don't know where am I putting this? It's just like all over or just like in some areas. I don't fucking know. I'm just going to add it like just in the bottom part of my lid. I don't know. But the situation is, everything is going wrong in my life. Everything. Plus the statistics homework. God damn, let me tell you. I did a lot of homework in my life. I studied a lot in my life. And there's only a few things that uh, presented a challenge for me to learn. And that one of them is chemistry. I hate chemistry. Hate it. Hate it with a passion. Hate it. Um, next thing was uh, American, American, English grammar. It, it, it doesn't make sense to me. It, it doesn't fucking make sense to me. Anyway, and then uh, the last, the last two is economics and now statistics, okay? I can't. I can't with this classes. I, I fucking can't. <sighs> okay, so I have to wait to let it dry down a little bit because I don't want to, I don't want to blink and just have it all the way up, you know? Hopefully it's going to dry down real soon. But meanwhile, I'm trying to think, do I want to add a little bit of liner? I don't even know. I have this thing right here that is a, a illuminating gel paint in electric blue that I have not played with. But I think I'm going to put that on the bottom lash. And I also have this one from... Private Society, which is Leading Liner. I think this is in the brown. Yeah, I played with this one before, which I do like, but I don't think I'm going to add that. I think I'm just going to go with that blue on the lower lash. Let me do that. Hopefully this is going to dry up soon. I do like what, how it looks with that little pop of blue right there it's a look uh for mascaras huh which one should i go with let me let me go with this one on the top i'm gonna go with drama girl fucking helsinkis i'm gonna go with drama girl from too faced on the top lashes and then I'm gonna go with Mile High Club from Wonder Beauty on the bottom. Alright, so mascara is done. Gotta say, this drama girl from Too Faced, I don't know where the drama is, girl. I don't see it. Or, or damn girl, whatever the fuck it is. I, nah, 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 I don't like it. Uh, let's see. I want to do lips. For lips, I want to do go with something dramatic. And I want to use this. Where is it? Something from Huda Beauty in NARS. I have this uh, lip liner from Huda Beauty, which is an icon. I did use it a few times and I really did enjoy it. The look of it on my lips and on my skin tone.
All right, so I filled in my lips. Mm, I don't like how that looks. And I'm gonna add this NARS lip gloss, and this is in, oh jeez, can I see? Oh, it's Orgasm, yes. Here we go. I had this lip gloss for so long, and I have not, not use it. Okay, that looks good. That looks good, that looks like a good combination on my skin. And I'm gonna set, oh, I yeah, I do wanna set first. So I'm gonna set everything with this Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. There we go. And then I do want to uh, do some highlight. And we're gonna blow with Jack and Hill highlight. This is in Amped, and this is the loose highlighter. Okay, let's talk about Jack and Hill, because we got to talk about it. Okay, we got to talk about it. This girl, I don't freaking understand it. I just don't. I don't understand her technique. So recently, she came up with this uh valentine's day's mystery boxes your girl loves mystery boxes you know that like any fucking mystery boxes is out there i would try my ass off to get it and show it to you but when she came out with that i was like mm, what the fuck is going on like what the hell do you have in your mystery boxes because i don't understand you don't have you don't have any products like, what do you have in your mystery boxes, right? So I see those cardboard, whatever that was shown, and I was like, hmm, interesting. Are these going to be like um, palettes or mini palettes or, or something like that, right? But then she shows a little bit about it, and she showed that it's going to be liquid lipstick, which I said I'm not going to buy this year, and I am not buying this year. And highlighter, which also I said I am not going to purchase this year. But it's very interesting to me that she decided to come up with highlighters, which she already did. Like, she had that all this, like, when this one was out, right? She had a bunch of highlighters in all different formulas and stuff like that. So it was very interesting to me that she wants to put highlighters, more highlighters out, which are not the same highlighters, they're different. Which I'm like, what the fuck, girl? How many highlighters formulas do you want to put out there? Like, isn't it time for you to do something, like, different? Like, just bring us a fucking uh, eyeshadow palette with your brand, right? Because you brought a bunch of them with Morphe. Is it now time to bring it on your fucking goddamn brand so we can look at it? Anyway, no, she decided not to. Um, of course, a lot of people was, like, very annoyed with the fact that with the audacity she has to put... Um, mystery boxes out when she has basically no fucking uh what is it no products oh even more people were annoyed which i mean i i get it i understand a little bit but then again it's like these are business decisions okay these are business decisions and ulta it's not stupid ulta ulta what they saw they saw an opportunity to make more money from Jocelyn Hill because Jocelyn Hill does have a lot of people that still supports her and that's why they decided to bring her in to their brain now is that the best decision ever I don't know but a, from a business standpoint I think they thought at the moment that it's gonna make sense and it's gonna be good we will see if it's gonna be good for business or not but one of the things that happened apparently i honestly did not want to get this box um i saw what is going on was gonna be in it and i was like where's the mystery there's no more mystery 
I know exactly what's gonna be in this shit. What's the point? I'm not, not, not gonna get it. Nope, nope. And I don't need any more lipstick. I don't need any more highlighters. Those are things that I don't want anymore. So it's like I was looking from the outside to see what's going on, right? So a few hours later, I see people going nuts. Uh, the fact that it's sold out before even <laughs> being released. Like, what the fuck, man? This girl, this girl, every fucking release, she has problems. Every goddamn release. I don't understand what's going on. I am not a hater of Jacqueline Hill. I'm not a lover of Jacqueline Hill. I'm just a person that is looking from the outside and I'm thinking, what the fuck is going on right here? I don't get it. I don't get it. Do you get it? Because I don't. I just don't. I'm going to go make this hair dry and then I'm going to show you the final look, okay? BRB. So this is the look. I, <laughs> besides the fact that I was just been shouting all this fucking video and getting annoyed and <laughs> having all this crazy stuff to say, my makeup look turned out really freaking good. I, it's surprising. <laughs> it's surprising. I didn't even pay attention exactly of what the fuck I did on my face, but it looks really nice. I like the shadow. I like the shadow. It dried down. I don't have any problems. Probably it's gonna, it looks like it's gonna be difficult to remove, but I don't know. We'll see, right? The, I don't like the mascaras. I don't like the mascaras. I do like that blue on the bottom though. I think it's looking really nice, and especially this lip combo. Freaking amazing. And the blush, so good. How the hell did I make this look good? I don't know. I don't know. But, I hope <laughs> my video wasn't too offensive for you today. I hope it wasn't too crazy for you today. If you are still here, thank you so much for uh, uh, watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you in my team, which is team not reach yet because we're not reach over here. And at the end, I'm going to show you a little bit how this how it's snowing outside. Thank you so much for being here. I cannot wait to see you all next time. Bye. All right, here's a few flurries. I hope you can see them. They're not that big, but they are here. Look at that. It's not on the ground yet because I told you it's not, uh, it's not very, you know, Not on the ground yet, but it's coming down. It's not that cold yet, but I think it's gonna get there. Look at that. Oh, jeez. All right. See y'all next time. Bye.